hope all is well. Thanks for seeing all the uh, videos. I will try and get to as many as I can today. Don Warren, appreciate you. Look on the screen. So if you will, please look at these two clips. Uh, this will be part A. And then I will return in a separate video for part B, which will be the commentary. Look on the screen. Let's see. What are the youth up to today? What are the kids doing? So this one here, I think he's uh, 17. The next story you're going to see uh, these little... People get upset when you say monsters, but yeah, they're, they're causing havoc in the community. The next story you're going to see, the ones that acted out, those kids were only, I think, 14. So what are the youth doing today in America? Let's go ahead and find out. A developing story, an innocent person killed in a major crash over the weekend when investigators say a teenager who is leading police on a chase crashed into three other cars. The crash happened off Spencer Highway in the Beltway in Pasadena. The suspect in that case, Christopher Romero, is charged with murder. He appeared in court overnight. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers is live near the Harris County Jail with what we learned during his appearance. Good morning, Brittany. And good morning, Haley. We did find out some new details in this investigation from the courtroom last night. Now, it is alleged that this suspect, the teenager, accused of going up to 115 mm. miles per hour in that stolen vehicle. Uh, investigators say ignoring traffic signals and stop signs. Now, if you take a look, uh, this happened in the courtroom last night. That 17-year-old suspect, who's now charged with murder, made his first court appearance. Uh, Christopher Romero went before a judge around 11 o'clock, but Webster police oh said that God, he fled goes. from them after they tried to stop him in a stolen vehicle. Now we have surveillance cameras that capture the moment that the chase ended with a crash. KPRC is pausing at the impact point, but you can see a pickup truck flip after blowing through the intersection of the Beltway feeder road at Spencer Highway in Pasadena. Now, three other cars, as you mentioned, were involved in this crash. An innocent driver died. We learned right. Romero was out on bail for drug and weapons charges out of Kendall County. And we also found out new details about the suspect during this court appearance. My client is 17 years old. He is currently a senior Damn. at Bernie High School. Um, he is from Bernie, has lived there his whole life. He has never lived in Houston, so he was here visiting. Um, he does live with his grandmother and has been in the same house for um, almost 11 years now. I mean, Jack to me. So ultimately, the judge set his bond at three hundred thousand dollars. His next court appearance is scheduled for tomorrow. Okay, so as you can see, seventeen stole a car. Someone died. So let's go ahead, if you will, look at video number two. Hmm, I wonder what happened to that classroom. What could have happened to that classroom? Well, I'll let the news tell you. Check this story out, ladies and gentlemen. America's youth. What are the kids doing today? Check it out. Covering Fair Putnam use. County this week, we showed you photos of vandalism to a now-closed middle school. Deputies say three school teenagers made 100000 dollars of mess in the building last sunday news for jack's reporter mm. marilyn parker joins us on marilyn it's been a big talker in the community and that's a lot of a lot of damage that's right and you know people who live in that community they're taking their frustrations online they're calling it an atrocity this was not just some abandoned building in fact the city was using the gym for youth programs but it was poor decisions by three 14 year olds that mm. not only damaged that building, but damaged the community. Just looking at these pictures is upsetting. Classrooms were trashed. There's paint on the walls, trash cans flipped over, mm. broken windows. And the sheriff's office says they used several golf clubs found in the gym. This happened around 4 p.m. Sunday. The lack of fire got a call of smoke in the area of the middle school. When they got there, they saw three teens running from the campus. When police arrived is when they saw the damage. Take a look at some of these comments on Facebook. One person says in part, 
This infuriates me, but also makes me sad. Shows a complete lack of respect for others and their yep. property. Another comment reads, make them pay for their own destruction and vandalism. Make them accountable for their actions. This person says the parents, not the taxpayers, yes. should clean this up. The sheriff's office says the three 14-year-olds were charged with first-degree felony burglary with more than $1,000 in damages, third-degree felony criminal mischief, and third-degree preventing or obstructing extinguishment of a fire by interfering with fire extinguishers. Before being destroyed, the teens were caught on security cameras. We're told the campus does have an alarm system, but it didn't trigger during the incident. Okay, everybody. So you see what the teens here in America are doing, ages 14, three 14-year-olds, and a 17-year-old. Please stick around for part B, which will be the commentary. Thanks for watching. Simply said here on YouTube.